As it's the last edition of the Pledge for this year, it's time for us to look ahead to 2018. Now, before I look into my crystal ball, I need to give you a health warning. I got the results of the last two general elections, <laughs> the US presidential election <laughs> and the referendum, all spectacularly wrong. And I was the chairman of the FA who predicted England would win the Euros in 2016. <laughs> Instead, we got knocked out by Iceland. So, knowing that, let me get my crystal ball. Oh, wow. Here's my crystal ball. Oh, wow. It's good to see that Sky have lashed out, yeah. haven't they? They've, they've, they've obviously got rid of the goldfish and turned it into a crystal ball. I have my... <laughs> oh, my God. Mystic oh, Greg. Mystic. You see Mystic Greg? So here Mystic we are. Greg. Right. So what does my... Cause I'm not going to be good at this. What does my <laughs> crystal, ball, crystal ball tell you for next year? Right, here it is. Well, I see Brenda from Bristol. Know, he used to run the BBC. Yes, I know. Slow. Look at him now. I know. Look at this. <laughs> do you mind? I see Brenda from Bristol. Can you see? Looking upset again as we have another oh, general election. Yeah. Yeah. And Mrs May won't be Prime Minister after it. I agree. I see an old bloke... With grey hair so moving why? into number 10. No, it's not you, Nick. Uh, I think it'll be Jeremy Corbyn. But he won't have an overall majority, so he'll be there as the leader of an anti-hard Brexit alliance. I see tens of thousands of people protesting against the visit of President Trump out on the streets. I see England getting to the final eight of the World Cup... Well, Oh, I don't know and I think, our, <laughs> I think our very own Michelle Dubry will finally meet Mr. Wright. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. Right, I think I'll, I think we. Now listen. I don't know what happened to the goldfish. That's the really <laughs> embarrassing thing. But I think I will take this off because, yeah. as you say, I used to do proper yeah, jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I felt strangely drawn towards yeah. you dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> you prefaced all of that by saying how hopeless all your other predictions yeah, have been. Exactly. And I think that one will be absolutely just as hopeless. The idea that Corbyn is going to get into Downing Street well, is ridiculous. We well, no, because the, even this week, after all the mess, there was a YouGov poll that said the question was asked, "Who will make the best prime minister?" Thirty-seven. 7% said Mrs May. Now, she had gone up, she's gone up four points and only 28% said Corbyn. Corbyn, people do not trust with the economy. They just don't. Um, I, I, think, I think it's madness. It's not going to happen. The election is Look, not going to happen. have you got a go crystal ball? No. I have. Well, <laughs> I can see it. Can I just say, that's what we put the Facebook questions in every week. That is not a crystal ball. It's oh. a silly old bit of whatever. It's anyway, a dead I, goldfish, I, I think. I think you're it's... wrong. And on the strength of that, because... Right. It's, it's going to be hard to sell this particular one this week. But, um, but I think, Mrs May, my prediction is that, don't laugh, uh, despite a year of drowning in vitriol, of being humiliated and insulted on a daily basis, I think she will still be here this time next year. Oh. I, think, I think her position eventually will be strengthened. Now, this is hard to justify, um, not long after what happened where, the, you know, the, 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 she was defeated in, in the Commons uh, by four or five votes, I can't remember. Um, because, I mean, Churchill, Dominic Grieve was talking in the Commons. He, he had the audacity to, to quote Churchill, so I'm going to quote Churchill. He oh. said, when you're going through hell, keep on going through it. And I think that's what, keep on going. And I think that's what Mrs May does. OK, and, June, June. What, what no, hang you, on, I'm just... No, you can't go on forever about what, this. But this, uh, this, what's, this what's, we know you don't agree. What's your prediction for next year, then? Well, well that, I was doing my prediction for next week. Well, so I was long. doing it. Yeah. Well, it didn't well, take so long. <laughs> it took about two well, seconds. June, how about you? What's your prediction <laughs> for next year? Well, I, I agree with uh, one of your predictions. Actually, I agree with both of them. I think this government's definitely in trouble. I think you're right about people protesting in the streets for Trump. So a recent poll in terms of his uh, state visit in January, 49% uh, of Brits thought it was a good idea and 36% thought it was a bad idea. September? It'd gone up to 41% uh, uh, and actually it'd gone down to 41% saying yes uh, and 45% uh, saying no. And at the moment, it's gone down even further. 31% are saying yes and 48% of British people think it's a bad idea. 100% of the panel have now but, lost their way. Yeah, <laughs> but, but what I will say right. is um, I think uh, Brexit actually 
might not happen. I think That's my prediction. If I, uh, oh, my God. Uh, because of this. If, 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 yeah, yeah. If, if I switch my uh, vote to Remain, would you wear, wear, go as Mystic Greg every week? Because I yeah. loved you as Mystic Greg. <laughs> not to get, not I, yeah, to get yeah. one vote. I've got, do I actually half. have quite a bit, and I'm just going to rattle through, because I, I thought a lot through this. Here we go. I have, and they're all in one sentence, seven. Number one, England rise phoenix-like from the ashes and triumph in the ashes. Number two, Jean-Claude Juncker becomes the surprise leader of UKIP. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> Sir Vince Cable wins Strictly Come Dancing. Number yeah, four, Donald important. Trump becomes the surprise leader of UKIP. Number five, the entire country closes for the whole of February due to a slight snow shower in Motherwell. Number six, Vladimir Putin now becomes the surprise leader of UKIP. And lastly, number seven, Rachel Johnson actually mentions something other than Brexit Way. on the pledge. Now, Way. I know I'm only so one will come, come through. I'm going to prove Rach. you wrong immediately. Come on, Rach, you can do it. Right, Rachel, it's over to you. Because you said... If I wrote Remain, which means you think there could be a second yeah. referendum. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I've done some work about no. this, actually. And with my colleagues on the pledge, Rachel, take a look at this. They need another three billion. So Brexit is a shambolic Brexit. Brexit, a nightmare that's going to face us for the next ten years. Brexit, the will of the people. Brexit is actually going to cost an enormous amount of money. Brexit, Brexit, dot Brexit. <laughs> is my point made? Yes, oh, you... it's like a good, ra it's like a really bad rap. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, do you Rachel, really can you think say you're Brexit gonna... so that I... we Brexit. can add to this? Brexit. Brexit. Are you really going to manage Christmas lunch without discussing? We are. Yeah, it's, of, it's a, such a banned topic in the in the family yeah. home. But my prediction yep. is actually to do with Trump. Oh. Although, just returning to breakfast, one of my men of the year was going to be Dominic Grieve because mm -hmm. I think he'd make a fantastic prime minister. Oh, I agree. Good on him for good what for him. he did. Yeah in restoring sovereignty well, to our to parliament. The the people, it's no. not betraying, Carol, <laughs> oh, 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 you for know right. and I know <laughs> that what you said no, 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 doesn't no, make any sense. Christmas. It does make loads no, of sense. Let's keep it festive. festive. Let's We're keep, happy. keep it festive. Yes. But I think the Trump visit is going to be a success. Depending on how you define success, much as in the West same way, you have to, it depends on the meaningful vote, how you define meaningful uh, last week, mm. um, which is, you know, the MPs voting mm. on Brexit. So mm. a success, in my view, of the Trump visit would mean he comes because he is Prime Minister, I mean, President of the United States. Mm -hmm. And it would be so much too much about him and his narcissism if it he didn't come. I think it will unite the country, actually, in a weird oh. way. Um, in because what, in, everybody... In, in terms well, of I divisions think, over I Brexit, because this is one thing we're I united think that over. people will understand that he, it's an, he's, he has an extremely important job. Mm. Um, we've got to honour that. And it's we will all feel the same and you know we, we it will in some way make us feel british again but is, isn't your fear that if he comes and, and he's very childish and very immature and if he says protest in the street he might he's, he's, he's immature enough to get so cross and say you're not getting a deal you're now. Right. I'm off. I'm not going to deal with you. You're not going to get but a deal. Yeah. That, that's the moment for Christmas. We you are... just said you're right, hey, yes. Carol Malone. Yes, I the Christmas spirit. What did I say about Carol? Well, that <laughs> we're going to We're not going to get a deal anyway, so it doesn't we matter. We are going to get a anyway, deal. Anyway, but we, we interrupted you earlier, so what, yeah, you did. give us your yeah, you predictions did. for the next My year. prediction your... was Mrs May, despite all the, everything that she's had this year, all the virtual, all the humiliation, I think the woman has the most amazing... No, if that can't be your prediction. You've told yeah. us that. Yeah, that was my prediction. Yeah, well, you told, well, you us, told that. us. Well, what do you do? Do another one? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a different one. <laughs> yeah. no, Let's go around one. the table. We know what you. Will Mrs. May be here? Will we be talking about Mrs. We're all still alive. Will Mrs. May be talk, still Prime Minister in this time next year? It's possible, but I do think that Jeremy Corbyn will be in number 10 at some point. I do. I, do. I think she'll be Prime Minister. This time next year. Yeah. So do I. I don't think anybody wants it yet, Greg. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Who, who would want it at the moment? I who don't think anybody want wants it, it, but that's not what happens in politics, is it? Anyway, look, let's, I've got a grab here of, of, of Mrs May. Okay. Let's just remember this oh, year. Yes. These are the two bits of Mrs... The two faces of Mrs May. I'm not going to be calling a snap election. I've been very clear that I think we need that period of time, that stability, to be able to deal with the issues that the country is facing and have that election in 2020. I have just chaired a meeting of the Cabinet where we agreed that the government should call a general election. I mean, that, you know, I, I, I personally don't think she'll survive. Whether the Conservatives survive might be a different matter, but I don't think she will survive as Prime Minister. But come on. Just to add to the Trump uh, visit, I think one thing a Trump visit will do is make, his, uh, make the midterms even harder for him. When I think Americans see people in Britain protesting against him, that's not going to help him in the midterm election. So actually bring him over, because it could mean that, you know, we're on the road to impeachment. Alabama was, about it. Yeah. Alabama yeah. was an yes, embarrassment. I think, but I think, weirdly, that the optics of Trump coming to the UK are far better than the optics of 
uh, May rushing over yes. and, um, you know, paying court to Trump in the White House as soon as he was elected. And remember that famous scene of him grabbing her hand as they came down the steps in the White House. Yes. You know, and it showed, it showed Theresa May a supplicant, and I think him oh, coming she, here... No, to be fair, she didn't have any chance. He grabbed I know, her. I know, he was scared, wasn't he? Away, yes. No, no, what I'm saying is she, you know, it was she went over there like a rat up a drain pipe to see him. It was a bad what, mistake. What, what I find interesting about Trump in this country is that it unites people Brexiteers, that's what I said. That's what I was trying yeah. to say. Everybody, I didn't want to say everybody Brexit thinks again. This, yes. Everybody thinks this man is a clown but from whatever to, but, political yeah, view the they come from. So the, yeah. the argument is going to be, do you still have to respect him because he's the president yes. of the but United States? We don't States. have to respect yes. him, but we have to deal with him. We absolutely well, have to yeah, deal right, with him. Sure do. No, but I want Americans to see that British people think he's a clown, and I think that is going to hurt him in the midterm. But he's still going to be there. June, he's still going to be there. It doesn't matter. If the Democrats take one of the houses... He's well, in big was, trouble. That's when we're on the road when, to impeachment. When he went to France and they whipped him in and out on Bastille Day so that everybody mm. was, that was out celebrating success. anyway. Mm. I think he won't be a big success here. I think, there's a, I think Britain is much... There's a different sort of society. And I think the opposition and the I hostility agree. towards Trump well, is enormous. Well, they had a proper revolution in France. We've never really had one. They're much more... You know, we're a very civil no, society we, and we, we believe in ceremonies. But we respect. don't forget. Okay. We're not going to... Now, all right, you're going to come back to me, Mr. No, no, yeah, can we, no, no, yeah, can no. We, I, I, I can't have it for the third time. Yeah. But what I think we do instead is, this is Christmas, it's yes. time to right. put the hats back oh, on. Yeah. Oh, these two have swapped hats. We've swapped. I knew I've you got wouldn't the turkey like the turkey. Legs. I'm going to yeah. put this Hold on, I've got to get my lights on. Put the lights yeah, on. Get the lights on, hats the on. The lights have gone out Very all over hot. Europe. Yes. Oh, magnificent. Magnificent. Well, that's... Be a that's a, this one. Yes, yes, yes. Journalist of the Year. I don't, I don't, you won't be journalist of the next year, that's for sure. Well, but, that's, well that's it for this episode <laughs> and for Series 5 of The Pledge. We hope you've enjoyed watching. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the new year. Yeah. Yeah.